This is the middle of March and I am on the Moat Trail. The first mile of this trail brings you back into the woods on rolling terrain on a wide trail. Perfect for walking the dog. It's a three mile trail in total. Let's see what mile two has to offer. I'm working hard on the steep section, but there's a view. I think I could maybe see past Conway way back there. But my focus is in front of me, one step at a time. It's opening up now that I'm past the halfway. So awkward with a top heavy bag on me. I am just coming to the two mile mark about, and there's a beautiful little brook here coming down from a steeper slope. This second mile has been steeper than the first. There's been a lot of rocky step ups but not consistently steep enough to wear my televators. Okay, I hope there's no more of those. Getting up here now. And these are such beautiful pine trees. They might be red pine. really something and the breeze isn't cold today it's such a warm day and you see that beautiful sky well unfortunately the forecast is for full-on cloud cover and chance of rain And here I come up to the summit, and the rain is off to the west. It would be certainly nice to set up a tent somewhere safe before rain. Oh, I'm just now seeing Mount Washington. And I should take out this pack and have a little break. But I look across to where I think would be good for a tent. Just Once I get the tent in place, I feel so relaxed. Like it's like a whole different experience begins. And right now I don't feel that way yet. I feel tired and very exposed here on this mountain, even though the rain is over there, but you know, how long does it take rain? unbroken trail and just drifted so it looks hard to see <laughs> you can't see it because you just see fluff but you can't just go running down the fluff because you don't know what's going to happen each step there's some trees i could definitely dig out a tent spot but it's not protected i like to be more protected by nature so to me the obvious thing to do is go down along this ridge, I guess it is, more into the trees and kind of lower. So I'm rushing, get the tent. It's a cloud over me. I 
have really been rushing to get the rain fly tied down. My husband would be so proud at how fast I can tie a bowman, bowlin, bowlin knot now. Pretty quick. I wouldn't normally pick this spot, but I just went as far as I could away from the summit, which is that way. Oh, but the trail is like not that far. I'm broken. Nobody has come. I think a technically legal camp spot, but I'm trying to do the best I can. <laughs> this was more like a panic choice from the rain, but I think it's okay actually. The sun is still high up there in the sky. And even the Conway Valley has such interesting little hills to see. See that notch right there? Isn't that cool? Well, to the right, that must be Kearsage North. I've never been there, so I'm not sure. And then down here in the lower left is Cathedral Ledge, I believe. And I have been there a few times. And that would be uh, the town of Conway. Oh, and then over there is Cranmore Ski Area. How is it already 4.30? <sighs> time to eat. My time to eat. It's kind of like lunch, dinner. I decided I didn't need to go all the way back to the summit to have my food because this rock right here will do fine. So this will be the first time I attempt to create more water. To boil snow, you're supposed to leave some water in there. And the snow looks all right. And you add snow to the little bit of water. If you don't do that, you kind of burn the snow and it might taste funny. And I've seen mountaineer guys really packing that full. I guess it takes a while. It's working, the snow is melting. That's cool. Okay, well, the snow melted, and I'm going to add that to my jug. See how much we get in there. Oh yeah, I baked these cookies at home yesterday. Mm. And the daylight hours are longer now. Plus we had daylight savings. Mm. Sometimes I try to get those forest rangers to tell me a good place to camp. And uh, they don't do that very easily. They sort of change the subject a little bit. But one of them told me to come up here. Mm -hmm. He was right. I have finished eating my wonderful dinner and dessert. It is now time to uh, deal with the bear bag and get my headlamp go back to the tent and organize, and then I think I will head up to the summit for sunrise. No, sunset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. There's my bear hang. It's not very high up or very far out but there aren't a lot of perfect trees for that. Here we are back at the South Moat Summit. And looking over there, quite beautiful. 
Manchukura. And then we're going to have Massa Conway. And somewhere it's going to be Tri Pyramids. Oh my goodness, I'm not just going through them. Where would be Mount Kerrigan, too? I think what is happening with the sunset is it's going down directly behind that mountain. I see the very tip of the sun behind that mountain. Okay, some magic is happening a little bit. The sun is dropping and it's definitely lighting up part of that cloud. That's neat. I am not editing this. Look at that. Say good night to Mount Washington because it may be in the cloud tomorrow morning. Seven o'clock. It feels so crazy that it's still light out at seven o'clock. I really don't want to get out of my sleeping bag, but I have to go see those city lights before going to sleep. It is truly amazing out here. There's no wind, just a very light breeze. And the lights of Conway really are cool because I've driven so many times on that road. What a perspective up here. And then the few stars that I can see are just great and the moon. And I can see the terrain a little bit. It's just amazing. This week's book is Savage Arena, a mountaineering book by Joe Tasker, a British mountaineer um, now since passed away. And it's especially interesting because before this, I read his climbing buddies book. So they talk about the same mountains and I get the story from two different perspectives. <sighs> There are some cool birds looking at me, singing beautiful notes, but, oh, oh, they're down in the trees. It 
This is the most refrozen my tent has ever been. Gosh. It is 7.30 in the morning. Tent's cleaned out. I'm trying to leave no trace, but it's a little difficult to un-snow. This is my favorite part of the day. Hey look, the sun is in my coffee cup. This is why I do it, right here. Big open sky, big place to myself for a short time. Good coffee, amazing view. I wonder how many winter backpackers there are in the White Mountains. Like right now, this morning, I wonder how many other people are doing this? And I just have to decide snowshoes or micro spikes. It's so frozen. I think I'm going to try starting even with micro spikes. It will give me greater agility. Last looks. Last look at Washington. What a stunning beginning to my day. Hopefully I will benefit now from the fact that I wore snowshoes all the way up in soft snow yesterday, possibly creating stable footing for myself today. Here's one of these big step ups that really took some extra effort yesterday. I should be able to do it easier with micro spikes because my foot is smaller. Ow. And I can sit down, going down. <laughs> I think this might be the last big step up or step down today. Whew. I am one mile down. It is 10 in the morning and I've come upon the first day hikers. My micro spike flew off when I went over that. Yeah, my... He broke his really... That's a woodpecker. And I see the bridge. I was up there. Oh wow, I'm back to the parking lot. Woohoo! Very good.